Today I have 15 advanced patcher tricks for you, starting off with number one, which is probably one of the most obvious ones, but I wanted to put it on number one because you'll see how incredibly useful it is once you try it, which is using patcher presets inside of patcher. This has a lot of big benefits. One of them is that you can easily copy and paste basically entire sections of your patcher presets just like that. It also helps with keeping things organized and there are a lot of things in patcher that you need very, very often and you can just save them as a patcher preset inside patcher and reuse them every time you need them. And of course, I wouldn't be Zeman the Speedman if I wouldn't give you three of my most used patcher utility tools for free. So we have a mixer that mixes between two channels. I actually spent a lot of time on that mixer because I wanted to get it exactly right and I did a polynomial fit and everything. So the levels are actually correct. We also have a stereo splitter and a tune-up filter, so download link for these will be of course in the description. Trick number two is to use Fruity Formula Controller and while this doesn't sound like a trick in itself, Fruity Formula Controller has some super powers that I bet you didn't know about. For example, you can access things like the song time, the system time or even the X and Y position of your mouse and so much more. There's a big list on the website, I'm gonna link it below of course. Also seeded random and all this other stuff is so useful and you can hide a lot of complexity in Fruity Formula Controller too, like just this line probably makes me not use 10 other plugins in this chain. Let's continue with trick number two, which is if you right click the void and go on view, you can enable latency and performance for all the plugins and then you can see how much latency and how much of your CPU that FL Studio has available each plugin uses. Number four is a really handy trick that lets you basically patcherize existing plugins without having to drag them into patcher separately. So for instruments, it's very easy. You can go to the channel rack, right click then, and just go on patcherize and it will work. Or another method that works for both instruments and effects is to just press F8, use patcher, and drag it onto the effect or instrument while holding shift and then letting go. and then it will just load Patcher with a plugin already in it. Trick number five is for the surface of Patcher. One thing that you may have already come across is that if you choose a bevel, it has a certain minimum value and it can't go under that. And that is pretty annoying if you want to do like pixel art because that minimum value for stuff like pixel art is pretty big. One workaround for that is to instead use labels because labels can have a background color. You can just set the font color or the background color. Let's set the background color to white. And then it's basically just a box that can go much smaller. With the help of this trick, you can do really dope pixel art that would otherwise not be possible. Another really handy trick for designing your eyes and patcher is to go to Control Creator and create your own button that's basically just image line glyphs. Image line glyphs is image line's own font basically that has a lot of symbols in it that I used across FL Studio. To get image line glyphs basically just create a button with settings similar to these then you can drag it in or save that as a preset. As you can see at the moment it's just this weird foot symbol but there are actually tons of different symbols you can use. Here's a little palette somebody made on the image line forums. I'm gonna link you that in the description of course and you can use all of these in your plugins and I think oftentimes there are situations where they can look really good. For example in this plugin I used a lot of them. I used them here and here and here in the logo and I think they add a lot of character to the plugin. Trick number seven is that you can use sliders inside the patcher surface and then link the volume of the input signal to that slider to basically give you a kind of gain meter. If you do some more advanced stuff with that, you can get really cool effects, like for example with this plugin. And in case you're wondering where I got that slider from and also these kind of knobs, in FA Studio there's actually a way to create your own knobs and sliders in Control Creator. For that, just right click the void on the surface and go to Control Creator. You can create all your own controls and either just drag them in or save them as a preset to use for later. Trick number eight is also something that you might not know is that you can actually use more than just one surface inside Patcher. For that, just press F8 and type in surface and add another one to your scene and immediately you have another surface on the top here. You can also just rename it, let's name it ABC and 
it will be renamed on the top here as well. Of course, using multiple surfaces only makes sense in specific circumstances, but you can, for example, add multiple pages to your plugin or add another page with credits or something. It can also help with keeping things organized and you can even save a preset for that surface. For example, I have a preset here with a lot of pixels in it, so I can immediately start off with some pixel art. Trick number nine is to use Patcher together with Z Game Editor. And I know this is not really a revolutionary technique, but you will be surprised what you can do with it. Trick number 10 is something that can make your life a little bit easier probably, because every time you load Patcher and drag it into an effect slot, you will notice that for me, the input and the output is already connected, so the audio signal is not interrupted. How to do that is very easy, you just have to connect them and save them as a default preset. That's very easy to do. Just go to plugins, select the category you want to save them in, for example. I want to save them in the category Patcher, of course. Then go here and click on Add to Plugin Database and click on Flag as Favorite. And the next time you open Patcher, this will be your default preset. Oh, and click OK, of course. Do you want to receive a MIDI signal for the effects version of Patcher? That's a very easy way to do that. Just click F8 and search for MIDI out. Put it on any channel, it doesn't really matter. And set the output port to whatever you want. Let's just do five. Now right click in Patcher on From FL Studio, right click, Output, Event, and also select port five and six, we did six. And now we already have the MIDI signal every time we play from this MIDI out, it will go through this output in Patcher. Number 12, if you want to make knobs snap to a specific value on the surface, there are several ways to do that. Either you can right click, go to properties and set a so-called default value. For example, let's do 1024, this is usually half of it. And then it will kind of snap to that specific value. If you want it, on the other hand, to be completely quantized, there's a different way to do that. Just right click, go to properties, and let's say you wanted to only be able to have five different values, then set the maximum value to four, not five because zero is also a value, don't forget that, to four, right click again and set the move speed to one. And once you do that, you will notice that it can only take one of these five values now. This also works for sliders, by the way. Trick number 13 is maybe kind of a gimmick, but something you probably didn't know is that you can also set negative values for minimum and maximum value. So let's set the minimum value to minus 10. And if you have a digits, for example, it can actually go in the negative direction now. Do you want to sum two parameter values together? I know I told you to use Fruity Formula Controller earlier, and of course you can just connect both the Fruity Formula Controller and connect it here, and then do A plus B in the equation, compile it, and then it will be summed together. But actually there's a way easier way to do it, which is to simply connect both parameter values to the same input, and they will be immediately summed together if you do that. And finally, trick number 15, if you're very zoomed in into your map and want to zoom out, a very handy way to do that is to just double click into the void and you will simply zoom out and see all the plugins immediately. If you want to learn about another cool trick, which is how to turn patcher presets into VSTs, you can click on this video and until next time.